Today I'm going to show you how to make your wavy hair curlier using non-toxic and cruelty-free products. So all of the products I'm using today are from Evolve. They are a company that I like and trust and I find their products um, high performing and they just work for me and I hope they'll work for you as well. So at this point in time, you can see my hair is very wet. I washed it with the Smart Curl Hydrating Wash, and then I conditioned with the Smart Curl Hydrating Conditioner. My hair is very wet, soaking wet. That's how you want it. And I just, I don't comb it or brush it. I just sort of let it fall where it will and spray in some leave-in conditioner. My grays used to be sort of dry. They aren't anymore, but you want lots of hydration and wavy curly hair. It'll help your waves curl actually if they are properly hydrated. So now I've made my hair even more wet by um, spraying the leave-in conditioner, but I'm ready for the styling products now. So I start with the volumizing mousse. It's called Insta Volume. And I actually use quite a bit of product. One, two, three, four, I'm gonna start with that much. I'm gonna really work it into the roots first. It looks like I have a lot of hair, but I have, and I kind of do, but it's fine. Um, and I really need some volumizing product to get the lift that I'm looking for. All right, so now that I've put that in there, the next step is the Super Curl Defining Cream. I'm going to do two pumps of that. And this I'm gonna work through, just sort of comb through, evenly distribute it. I'm just sort of gonna squish it in, and I want you to hear that. Can you hear that? Squishing it in. I'm actually gonna use a little bit more. My hairstylist is always surprised at how much product I use, but it really helps my hair do what I want it to do. It's been trial and error finding it, finding what works. Okay, so I don't want to work on drying it. Today I'm actually going to diffuse it. Um, if I were to air dry at this point, I would take my microfiber towel. I'm gonna to do this regardless of whether or not I'm air drying or diffusing. And I just squish up. That helps take out excess product while also working it in there. And this is helping form those curls out of my waves. Okay, so at this point, if I were air drying, I would either just walk away right now or take a couple of metal clips to do a little lift at the top and to hold right here because I like my hair to stay out of my face and I can train it to do that if I put in a clip right here. I might add a clip here as well, but since I'm diffusing, I don't need to do that. All right, it's time to diffuse. I use a hair dryer with a diffuser attachment and I never go higher than medium Sometimes I'll just keep it on low. And what you'll see me do is I actually lay my hair in the diffuser and then I'll work it up like this. This is where the volume is going to come in. And I actually flip completely upside down and lay my hair in the diffuser like this as well. Okay, so I'm going to actually video a little bit of it. Okay. 
This is part way through. It's still wet, but you can see that the curl is starting to form and I can work on getting some more lift up here. So I'm going to keep on drying. I'm using actually low heat, I mean, high heat, low flow. Okay. So high heat, low flow. And then I'm going to switch to cool at the end because that helps lock everything in. especially if it's like mine and you have what I call fragile curls, meaning that I can get them, but if I start touching, messing, messing with them too much, they're just going to turn into waves again, which is fine, but I don't want frizz, right? <laughs> percent dry right now and the last step for me I'm going to take a little bit of Wonder Balm and when I say a little I mean a tiny bit goes a long way a little bitty drop can you see that and I'm just going to carefully work this through anywhere where I might have a little frizz forming it's usually at the top, right? And then I can just sort of squeeze it in a little bit. It adds a little bit of shine, adds a little bit of smoothness. Okay, now I'm gonna finish up on the cool setting to cool off and to also help set the curls that I have managed to create here, okay? So that is it, hair is done, and I hope you found it informative. I've got a blog post to go with this, and I also have blog posts on the best non-toxic products for curly hair, the best non-toxic products for gray hair. So be sure to check those out. I will put the links here to make it easy for you. Thanks.